What's up guys? Today I am introducing another new bike. <clears throat> Last one I had was a DRZ 400. Really didn't suit my fancy. It's just really super heavy. Super nice bike too. And for what I really want to do, which is like trail busting, you know, log bouncing, camping. I mean, this thing, um, I really wasn't looking for a TW 200 to be honest, but this one was on Craigslist um, for like 2,900 bucks. It's a 2000 and she's only got a... 954 on it now i bought it with 800 so i've already put 154 miles on this and like i don't know i've had maybe ridden it five six times i put the bags on the wolfman um, side bags just because i've kept those from every dual sport i had um, i've got some white acerbi hand guards i'm going to be installing here i just put on this viper uh, spitfire windshield today and let me tell you it makes a huge difference it was 70 bucks I got off Amazon. Uh, split, split Stream, I think, is the uh, the name of who banks it. Pretty, really easy to install. <clears throat> There's a little gap here. I was worried air was going to come up and through. But, like, when I'm riding, I mean, my head probably sits, like, right here. But it seems like the air just comes right up and off the side of my helmet versus, like, just straight onto my body, which um, creates a lot of drag and uncomfortability if there's a high, high winds. So huge upgrade. It's you can see it's pretty, you know, it vibrates a little bit, which doesn't bother me. You're never gonna find a windshield that just stays there if you have uh, motor vibrations. But super easy. Clamp right on the stock seven eighths bars. Um, I'm like I said, I'm putting the hand guards on. I've got this little like cigarette lighter USB port thing. I think I'm gonna put probably like right here if it's not too in the way. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm running out of bar space. I might have to get some wide wide bars for this. Um, just because I really honestly do plan on taking on a lot of camping trips and whatnot. Also got this here bag for it. It's pretty nice. This is 70 liters. Huge bag. Um, I've, you know, I've just got a tent in it right now, but I could probably put my tent. I trust that gas can to not leak. I'd put it in there if I, unless I'm thinking I'm going to build a, a front rack for it. Though, actually, just to haul my gas, something that just comes down off right here and around a couple bars, you know, um, that wouldn't obstruct the headlight too much, come down maybe right along the fender here, and then I could put a flat gas can there. <clears throat> we'll see. I'm, I'm really excited about this bike, though. I'll start it up for you guys. It's super quiet. Freaking super quiet. Um, and I'm going to leave it that way. I'm one that usually when I get a bike, I put a, a pipe on it, I jet it. Uh, these ones do run a little bit lean, so I just took the air screw and backed it out. Whoops, I got a video on my phone uh, stopped there, so there's going to be a little pause. But anyway, like I was saying, I usually take a motorcycle, I pipe it, I jet it. But I took the air screw, backed it out two, three turns because it was running a little lean. Had some uh, low, had some rough spots in the throttle. But like, honestly guys, I just popped the third gear wheelie on this thing. You have to sit way back and pop the clutch, obviously. Um, but circle wheelies are super fun and matter of fact, I'm going to try and set up my camera here and see if I can't get a little I should be wearing a helmet, but this is on a TW 200 so I don't think much can go wrong There you have it. I'm still, I'm just learning those, but I mean, 
uh, my buddy was like, dude, that'd be funny if you tried to do a circle wheelie because he had a TTR 225. We circle wheelied the heck out of that thing once I got comfortable on it. Um, man, look at this thing. She's so stinking cherry, guys. Look at that. Barely even any dirt. It's not even a scratch on the case. Not a scratch on the frame. This is a 2000. It's got these stupid bolts. I turn this thing off. She's so loud. So much horsepower. Dude, like 14. Um, these dang bolts are oval head Phillips and they're freaking you know I mean I don't know how the heck they get them in there in the first place so tight so I got an impact screwdriver and a bolts kit on the way and I'm gonna get rid of those um, re-gear it to go, to go a little uh, excuse me so it goes a little bit quicker on the uh, highway other than that this is my TW200 um, my buddy just bought one too he's we're gonna be making quite a few videos together so <laughs> if you're looking to get a TW200 this is like I've honestly I've had a KTM 525 two two three different street bikes uh, two DRZ 400s and uh, a couple other little older smaller road road legal bikes this one though <clears throat> it's a must buy if you don't have a T-Dub or you think about getting one do it um, the guy also put this skid skid plate on there, so that's awesome. But uh, there she is in all her glory. So uh, we'll be getting better at those circle wheelies, I'm sure. I'll be freaking like Graham Jarvis on this thing, I bet you. Just going up so many hills, passing people, just honking my little horn and stuff. All right. Well, thanks always for watching, and uh, have a good one. T-Dub out.